A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there lived a boy who had a dream of building a chuck box. He drew up plans for the build, but that evolved into something much, much larger. What was once a simple project quickly became much more elaborate. The plan was for it to be a small, compactable chuck box, but it ended up being something much, much larger. This is the origin story. And the chuck wagon was born in all of its beauty and glory. It was pure ecstasy to have such a build. to make a 33 by 33 by 19 box we have to cut four one and a half by one and a half custom made um, at 16 inches um, four that are at 33 inches and three that are at 30 inches
So now that the shelving pieces are all installed, um, the next thing that I did, I kind of did it already off camera. Um, I went ahead and cut the hatch and then I also cut out the lid. Um, the lid's two separate pieces. I just used some wood glue, lined it, clamped it down as best I could, and uh, I'm gonna let it set up for a little while, a couple hours, and uh, as you can see right here, it's already kind of setting up pretty good. But um, anyways, this is obviously upside down. It's gonna be flipped over the other way and it's gonna come down, kind of like this. It's gonna come down and latch. Like where my fingers are is gonna be the latch and at the tip of my fingers is gonna be the hatch door. So the hatch door is gonna come up, the lid's gonna drop down and they're gonna latch onto each other. So that right there will latch onto that right there. I know that doesn't make much sense, but it will once it's all put together. All right, so I know I skipped a lot, but this is the mechanism that I built for the wheels on the bottom. This right here is gonna go right up attached to the bottom of the chuck wagon. So it's gonna act like a dolly. You're gonna lean it back with the handle and you're gonna be able to dolly it around with that. But the problem is, is first I got the wrong tires. So these are the right tires. I had to go back and that's why I didn't really film all this because it was kind of all experimental. But I think I finally figured it out. So what I did was I got a 2x3 running along the bottom. Another 2x3 running along the bottom. And then cut two more to fit inside here. Drilled out a hole all the way through. Directly down the middle of it. That is about, it's a 5 8 of an inch hole. I got a 7 inch long 5 8 um, hex bolt. With 11 thread per inch. And just stuck it straight through the tire, through the two two by threes. At the end, I put a five eighths inch washer and two five eighths inch nuts. The reason I did two is to act as a locking mechanism, so the first one doesn't somehow eventually make its way off of it. So that just acts like it just locks it. Two regular nuts acts like a lock nut. Anyways, so I tightened it to just where it's where it'll spin, spin pretty freely. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing over there. So, pin, tire, two by threes, washer, nut, nut, done. This is what she looks like. Got this front piece to act like a stopper, so whenever it's sitting down, it doesn't want to roll. So that's the stopper right there. Um, I cut it to the same height as where the wheels are off the bottom. Well, here it is in all its glory. As you can see, it sits pretty level. Um, Tires are perfect size for it. It's real easy. Here's the handle I made for it. Just grab the handle, tilt it back, and you just push it like a dolly. Just push it around, turn, 
comes easy. Does everything we need it to. Alright. So stop it the same way you would a dolly. Boom, son. Boom. Alright, so I know what you are thinking. What are all of those latches for? Okay, so first off, you got these. Pop. Pop. That releases the top. We got the chains to hold it so it doesn't fall all the way back. Right here is where I'm going to keep my Coleman two burner stove. And uh, it's perfect size for all that. And then, if you want to get down in here, flip this latch. Flip this latch. And either door will open. So... <clears throat> doors open that's what it looks like we got one little shelf up here got a big shelf that's probably where I'm gonna keep all my pots and pans um, and then three smaller spot shelves that are virtually the same size for all three of them but uh, yeah I'm actually very pleased with this this was a lot of work a lot but I think it turned out pretty good I'm excited to use it. Well, y'all, we're taking the chuck wagon to the campsite. Oh, yeah, son. Bigger than expected, but that ain't yeah. anything unusual, so we added we're gonna... One, we added one more little addition to it. It's got a paper towel rack now. Yeah, on the inside, you open up the door, and bam, there it is. So, Anderson's down for a couple days. We're going to head over to the camp, deliver the chuck wagon, because as you can see, it takes up pretty much my entire car. Um, so we're going to drop it off, and then we're going to come back home and hang out. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to take all the stuff to supply the chuck wagon with, and all of our camping gear and everything, and go stock the chuck wagon at the campsite, and work on the camp, and then camp out. So, yeah. Man, this is gonna be a fun couple days. Oh. We'll keep y'all updated. All right, son. Hopefully, we don't die on the way, but we gotta get gas. We're about to, we're about to go on empty, son. We always running on empty. Alright guys, we got it into our little shack here that we're in the process of uh, fixing up again. It's a pretty good little fit. It's a little tall for this uh, shelter, but this is where it'll stay for now. It'll eventually make its way over to the great work in progress. Alright y'all, that's the end for this video of us installing and finishing the uh, chuck wagon, not the chuck box. And next time you see us, we will be stocking the chuck wagon and we will be building the uh, new wall. So, Broke, bush, broke Boys Bushcraft signing off. Break, 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 break